So I am at uh, Webster's High School now and uh, <laughs> doing the first session of the Drawing for Healing workshop. <laughs> the teacher here. I'm just going to show some of the drawings in progress. You have three and a half minutes to go now. Better start moving along. <laughs> Martha, maybe you can come over. Get come on, girls, are you frightened of doing this? You want to make this. Speed them up a bit. Mm -hmm. Just get into it. It's hard. No, don't use lots of colour. Why don't you go for the do an uh, angry mouth now? Get that in part in first. Get scratchy and scribbly. Come on. Steady eyes, strong eyebrows, uh, lines in the face, um, <laughs> squeaky hair. Oh, <laughs> You do the wrinkles and stuff. However you want to, it's however you want to do expressing anger. It's your drawing, not mine. So this is from, these are the drawings from the first session. Drawing anger in relation to intolerance, hate crimes, war, genocide, the Holocaust. producing a beautiful piece of work, this is about emotion. So it's about how you feel instead of making something beautiful. Okay. So, why don't we all I kind of walk around here and see what everyone, see what all the drawings look like. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, we'll go this way, that's fine. So, uh, what do y'all think of this as an exercise in getting emotion out? It worked for the teacher. How about the pupils in the class? Good? Good fun. Uh -huh. Would you do it again? Yes. And anything you'd recommend changing? Uh, changing, changing what would you recommend changing emotion wise you want to do happiness as an alternative how would that fit in though with the subjects of let's say genocide or the holocaust or hate crimes and things like that say it again look on the better side of it okay and how how would that manifest itself i'm just curious to get angry at things that relate to it. Try and do think, okay, oh, yeah, I know it's the subject, I can try and get through it without getting angry. Uh, like trying to get through, let's say, like hearing news about yeah. awful yeah. catastrophes yeah. and yeah. things. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so, can you, uh, can we get 
Choir, please like to, what's your name? Sean. Sean, can you repeat that for your classmates here? So, we can change the actually to happiness because instead of thinking of like bad things about, like it's, it's a bad subject, but we can try and think of other things like happy, like other happy feelings about it. Uh -huh. What does everyone else think of that? So Sean suggests, I, I said, would you do it again? The same session, workshop session, he said yes. Uh, um, what do you say? And I said, um, what would you recommend? Uh, would you recommend any of the changes? And you yeah, said... Different feelings. Different feelings. Um, so he suggests that um, as a follow-up, doing an exercise drawing happiness. I asked how would that relate to subjects like the Holocaust and hate, hate crime attacks and so on. Um, what do you think of, his, of, of doing happiness as a follow-up? I actually had something else for him, and I'm curious to hear uh, what other people think, and I'm also open to suggestions. Nothing set in concrete in terms of doing these type of uh, drawing workshops that I do. Any other thoughts from anyone else? No? No one? Okay. Um, let's go on to the next session. The teacher and I will gather these up. Everyone take a seat again. Greetings, just a, a quick note here. The uh, <clears throat> video uh, excerpts that follow are from the second workshop session with the uh, pupils and the class and teacher uh, at Webster's and uh, focused on other emotional responses other than anger uh, in the uh, second session. So here we go, thanks. So this is the uh, second uh, session part, and I uh, ask pupils to draw uh, from one of a number of categories uh, emotion-based responses, such as loss, separation, fear, anxiety, uh, and so on. Drawings uh, are in progress now. Yeah. Well, you don't know. Don't you agree on the eyes? Like some of your bits of them are just like some of your bits so where was the um my goldfish died. Yeah, goldfish? My oh, sorry to hear. That's you then, it's a self portrait. Yeah, oh, all right. Yeah, the broken heart. heart. All right. Okay. That's the thing that happens to goldfish. I had goldfish too when I was a kid. And here today, gone tomorrow with goldfish. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Very good. Well, someone hit you. Wait, what are we doing for the studies? So we're gonna, we're gonna, everyone's attention, please. We're gonna, we're gonna stop in one minute. So any last lines you want to do, get them in now, please. You had another one on the other side, didn't you? Ah, great. <laughs> Flip it around. Thanks. If you could get much not really, but I could give you chance. Good. And then the other side. Let's see. All right. I'll finish up if you want to add any more lines.
Okay, everybody. So. My first question is, what did uh, you all think about doing this exercise? And I'm open to constructive criticism. If you didn't like it, say so. <laughs> well, that's, that's easy. Would you do it again? Yeah. And what did you think about doing, uh, inter doing the, uh, these topics and reflecting on your own selves? Anxiety, loneliness, loss, all that. Anyone? Personal experience. Personal, yeah. So, you thought it was useful as an exercise? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, thanks. And anyone else? Anyone have any comments about any particular drawings here? Speak louder, please. Yeah? You're speaking, I think you need to speak. Uh, I find this one's interesting to me. Um, someone depicted a person with hands over the face, kind of blocking out. So, what, what, what could that symbolically? What would that symbolically represent? That image. Sadness. Sadness. Anything else? Loneliness. Loneliness. Uh huh. Okay, let's do, please direct the comments so everyone can hear. Tegan, that was yours. What were you trying to represent? Fear? You know when you hide and you can't see something, you're almost blocking it out, aren't you? So you, you either don't want them to look at you or you don't want to look at them. <laughs> so which topic did you choose? Who did the drawing? And which topic or topics did you choose? Sadness. Sadness. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Any comments? Feedback from anyone else? Louder, please. Say it again. Okay. Who did the? Uh, oh, this interesting. Uh, looks like a chicken and hand melded together. Who did that one? Oh, really? What 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 inspired that? A lot of chicken folklore in, in my family, so I'm just curious. What inspired that? A pet? Did you have a pet? Yeah, I had a pet chicken that died. It died? Yeah. How long ago? Uh, last year. Early. Uh -huh. huh. That's, it's, it's a creative uh, drawing, I think. Yeah. And uh, I just like the line and the color. So, how about this? who did the anxiety with the, the eye and kind of green? Whose is that? Uh huh. What a welcome to school panic attack. So, uh, what else do we have there? Came from a school in England up here. Oh, really? Uh -huh, Culture sorry. shock? Language shock? Just no. No? But I know going to school can often be. But it's a fear of going from one place to a new place and not knowing anybody. I can relate to that. Yeah. I bet other people can too. What's the one over there next to it that says alone on the arm and hand? Hmm? Who's so it? Ah. Another leaf. Uh -huh. And she's a twin. Uh -huh. All right. I, I wonder if it related to the fact she'll have to let go of her twin one day. Uh -huh. hmm. So any. Uh, Cooper went straight in and drew his old house. He's moved from Dundee and he really misses it. Uh -huh. yes. Well, any other uh, comments, thoughts, feedback, suggestions? Sh Sean did a box. Who's Sean? Oh, Sean. And uh, what is the box representing here? Uh, just a box. Emptiness. Emptiness. Yeah. Emptiness in regard to what? Just missing someone. Pardon? Missing someone. Missing someone. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Very good. Any other comments, thoughts, any, anything? 
Yeah. Anybody? Elizabeth, you did that one on anxiety. Can you hold that up, please, at the end? Thanks. So I'm interested to hear who's Elizabeth about um, what you've represented here. But in terms of you have buildings on the left, buildings on the right, and this kind of anxiety, almost like in a like in a vertical pillar itself in the center. What is that all about? Um, uh, there's like two cities, one's run down, and the other's like populated, and like other cities like lonely, and like yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did everyone catch that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, great. So I'd like to thank everybody, and uh, I think you did a great job, everybody. Thanks. Well, thank, thank you, you teacher, too. Work, Thanks. It, it was a different aspect. They've not done before. Thank you. Thank you.